Contender Regime Boxing, checking back in with y'all, man. What's good? So I want to talk about Gary Antoine Russell and his performance versus Rancis Bartholomew. It was a really good night of boxing this past weekend. Showtime had a really decent card, uh, the Danny Garcia and Jose Benavidez Jr. card. And um, the fight that, you know, I thought should have been the co-main event was Russell versus Bartholomew. And, um, you know, as long as it did last, I believe it was stopped in the sixth round. Um, Russell landed a lead leaping check right hook on Bartholomew, hurt him pretty good. And, and, and um, you know, the ref stopped the fight. I thought it was premature, you know, but and we'll talk about that in a minute, man. But, you know, up until the stoppage, it was a very competitive fight, a very fun fight to watch. I loved how I loved the character of the fight. You had two guys where, you know, it was one guy and Bartholomew being the more conservative counter puncher, setting traps, allowing Russell to overextend and, you know, fall into a trap, you know, and then you will see Bartholomew unload two three four punch combinations every time Russell got close to him or or decided to open up and he was throwing the flicking jab out there just kind of you know trying to control the pace of the fight and then bait Russell to jump in so he can get off on him with the traps that he set you had Russell being the extremely aggressive fighter strong um, athletic Fast hands with punching power, throwing punches and bunches, combinations, going to the body, going to the head, uh, bringing it to the inside, getting, you know, uh, tussling on the inside, making it gritty. And it was just a good contrast of styles and a good clash of styles. So, you know, leading up to the stoppage, man, I thought that this was going to turn into one of those classic type of fights because you had Bartholomew who... This was a huge opportunity for him to make a statement coming off of a loss. And, you know, this was a huge opportunity for him to make a statement, man, show that he's still a force to be reckoned with at 140. I mean, the guy was 29 and one really good record, you know, uh, just a really tough fighter, a strong fighter, not a big knockout puncher, but a really skilled fighter, awkward you know, his posture kind of remind me of the drunken master, Emmanuel Augustus, just the way he the way he looked in the ring, you know what I'm saying? And, and the way he flick his jab out there. But, you know, he's a he's a, a really solid competitor, a, a guy that you got to really bring your shit if you're going to get a dub. You're not just going to walk in there and just do whatever you want with him. You know what I'm saying? You really got to bring your shit. And uh, Gary Antoine Russell, he did just that. You know, Gary Antoine Russell... He looked sharp for the most part in the fight. He was fast. His combinations were crisp. Um, you know, he was active. He was accurate when he did decide to throw big, big shots. He was landing some really good stuff. But he did get careless in spots in that fight. And uh, Bartholomew did, Bartholomew did. like I said, he was setting traps. He was luring Russell in and allowing him to think shit sweet. And as soon as Russell jumped in there... And show an opening, Bartholomew would just let off, you know, a, a barrage of punches. And he was having success with that. He was having success with the jab. Gary Antoine Russell also had success with the jab, being a shorter man with the shorter reach. I love the way he used the jab, that southpaw jab. I mean, he was popping that bitch, and he it was stiff, and it was strong. And it was effective that allowed him to work his way on the inside and, and close that ground and distance. But, uh, you know... Just looking at Gary Antoine Russell and his performance and just trying to grade him as a fighter where he is right now, he only had 15 fights going into that fight. Uh, now he's 16-0 and 0 with 16 stoppages. Again, I thought the stoppage was premature, even though ultimately I believe that Gary Antoine Russell would have stopped him. Um, I posted something on Instagram. I posted a picture of the referee at the end of that fight and I said the caption was like if Kenny Porter was a referee 
<laughs> because the ref, like, come on, bro. And in that picture that I posted on Instagram, follow the Instagram if you haven't already. Contender Regime Boxing, the same way it is on the YouTube. Um, he was sweating bullets in that picture, man. He knew he fucked up. He knew that that was a bad call. You know, Bartholomew got up. You know, he walked on his own to his corner. I mean, he was hurt. There's no doubt about that. The punch hurt him. You know, uh, Russell caught him real good, leaped in and, and set a, he, you know, he set a trap for him. I guess Bartholomew thought he was he was fainting, but he actually leaped in with that bitch and caught him with his hands down, uh, landed the right hook to the temple. And, uh, you know, he was he was shaken up from that punch, but he was able to get up. He looked the ref in his eye, you know, say, hey, I'm good. At least that's what I'm from the outside looking in. That's what it looked like to me. You know, he like, hey, I'm good. Let's go. And, you know, there's a language barrier as well. But I'm not going to give the ref an out for it being a language barrier. Like it was just uh, it was just a bad stoppage. Like there's no excuse for that, for the way he ended that fight. He should have allowed Bartholomew, a guy who's 29 and one at the time now, 29 and two. He should have allowed him an opportunity to go out on his shield. You know, it was a good punch and he was hurt. But it, I've seen worse knockdowns. I've seen harder punches. I've seen more devastating shots and reactions from fighters. And those guys still were able to continue. And some of those guys were able to come out with the victory. You know what I'm saying? Imagine, uh, you know, going back to, I'm going to pull one out the craze, going back to Marcos Maidana and Josecito Lopez. Both of those guys got knocked down in that fight. You know what I'm saying? And imagine if, and you know, they were hurt with those knockdowns. But imagine if Marco, if they, if the ref stopped the fight when Marcos Maidana got knocked down versus Josecito Lopez and, and didn't allow him to, to finish that fight because he came back and he stopped Josecito Lopez in a fantastic, classic, you know, uh, just a wonderful fan friendly fight. And that's the type of fight that I thought this could have been. And I didn't, you know, again, I don't think that I, I saw Russell pulling away and starting to get sharper, starting to settle down. He came out a little jittery, you know what I'm saying? Came out a little jittery and anxious, but he, he he got his poise about him. He started to settle down and started to really land those shots, just like the one that he landed to put him down, and I thought we was going to see more of that, but you got to give Russell the opportunity to put on that masterpiece and to paint that picture the way he want to paint it, and you got to give Bartholomew the opportunity to come back you know, especially when he still had his word with all. But uh, with all that being said, man, how good is uh, uh, Gary Antoine Russell? How good do you think he is? Me personally, uh, I think he the goods, man. I think there's definitely some things for him to work on, like poise, being more uh, patient, you know, because you're going to get in, in a fight where they go to distance, where they go to 10 rounds, where they go to 11 rounds, where they go to 12 rounds. And I want to see what his gas tank like. Again, this guy is 16 and 0, 16 stoppages. And I want to see what his gas tank is like when he when the fight does go into deep waters. Can he still keep up that that activity? Um, he did get hurt in this fight. Like I thought he had like a uh, he wasn't hurt bad and he responded very well. But he did get stung a little bit where he was kind of like, you know, stumbling, uh, not really stumbling, but he just kind of looked like he was off, like the punch bothered him. I won't even say that he was hurt, but he I think he got like uh, stunned a little bit, you know, what I'm saying a couple of times and but he recovered well. He looked real good. You know, he came back out throwing bombs. You know what I'm saying? He came back out letting them bitches fly. And I love that. That's one of the things that make Gary Antoine Russell a fighter that you got that you got to put on TV, a fighter that demands uh, entertaining and competitive fights, big fights. You know what I'm saying? Fights that that the fans want to see. Gary Antoine Russell, in my opinion, is one of the most exciting fighters in the sport of boxing. Just off of his style, his his skill set, um, and just his his work rate, his activity. Now again, I think he got to work on his poise and his patience. He's a sharp fighter, high IQ, come from a boxing family. Look who he got around him. Uh, just grew up in a sport. He know what he's doing in that ring, you know. But just dropping up on a, a couple of things, I would say the biggest thing for me is the poise and the patience. 
and uh, you know, pacing himself in the fight, not going out there. Same issue that I had with Boost Ennis early on, you know, uh, going out there early in the first couple of rounds, just throwing everything and using all your energy. That can come back and bite you in the ass. You've seen Boost and slow down and kind of pace himself more and be, you know, uh, using his jab, letting the knockout come to him instead of chasing that shit. Because when them fights get laid on in the rounds, you know, your gas tank is going to get tested. You know what I'm saying? So I think Gary Antoine Russell is the real deal. I think he can beat anybody at 140. Anybody at 140, you know, uh, I would love to see him versus Telefimo Lopez. I think that fight is a huge fight. Russell versus Lopez. I like the Montana Love fight. I would love to see him get in there with Regis Progray. And I think that that fight is realistic because... Russell, like, look at the competition. He just, he fought post all. Then you get in there with Bartholomew, and he's only, like, this is only his 16th fight. He is a guy that wants to test himself, and he wants to test himself early. So I don't think he would shy away from a, a fight with a guy like Regis Progray. And Regis Progray has been starving for an opportunity to get a good fight, to get a worthy opponent in the ring, and a lot of guys have been avoiding him. So, uh, I think that that's a fight that 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 need to happen soon. You know, uh, Gary Antoine Russell versus a Ryan Garcia, a great fight. It's so many, so many great fights at 140 for this dude, man. And I think he he has a a very good chance of winning any of these fights against any of the top guys. I think it's 50 50. And a, a lot of these dudes, I think, you know, I would favor Russell over just. You know, if you can't hurt him or you, if you can't stop him, you're going to have a whole lot of trouble because he's going to put some shit on you and he's going to make you work, especially in the early rounds. We don't know what he looked like in the later rounds, you know, against somebody who can box and move and survive and then, you know, take you to deep water. So that's the one thing that I really got to see before I really give him all of the kudos. I got to see him put together a complete fight versus a guy that can take it to the distance and give you different looks. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. How did y'all feel about Russell's performance? Do you think Gary Antoine Russell is the goods? How good do you think Gary Antoine Russell is? Is he ready for the best guys at 140? 16 fights. You know what I'm saying? Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Contender regime boxing. I'll holler at y'all boys, man.